Hi, I'm Matt Evans, Superintendent of the Monticello Central School District, and thank you for joining me for the November 14th, 2022 edition of It's Monday in Monticello. Today I'm joined uh, by the Mont Monticello High School Thanksgiving Food Drive Club uh, that is coordinated by Ms. Cora and Ms. Dibble. And joining us today are... Aaron Brawley. Joseph Brusa. Harley Taylor. Madison Amshaw. Thank you everyone for being here. Uh, once again, we're conducting our annual food drive and I wanna hear from our club members uh, a little bit more about the food drive. So uh, what is the food drive? How do you collect and donate? Um, okay, so the MHS food drive uh, is uh, conducted to help members of our community get uh, meals for Thanksgiving. And the way that it works is each morning, a group of four students involved in the food drive um, collects money from each classroom in the high school. And then at the end of the day, the four chairs get together and we count up all the money and we hit, there's a small competition within the high school and the leader at the end of the competition gets a breakfast that's made by our advisors. Then that money all gets pooled together and we go shopping on the Monday before Thanksgiving and um, we collect, we get turkeys and cans and pies and all different kinds of Thanksgiving foods. Um, and those all get collected together and we put on a big assembly for the entire school. And then we work with Mr. Dawson from the United Way who compiles a list of families in the community who are looking for the Thanksgiving meals. And then on the Wednesday before we bring the Tuesday. meals, on the Tuesday before we bring uh, the meals into the community and those families come and pick them up. Wonderful. And what prompted you guys to get involved in this club? Um, so growing up, I always really liked to volunteer and help out members of my community. And this is my second year on the Monticello High School's Food Drive Committee. And I really just loved like seeing the different people's reactions and how grateful everybody was last year. And just seeing everybody come to together as a community to help one another out. Great. And growing up in Monticello, I've always seen the struggle and through COVID, Times got really tough for a lot of families in our community, so that was a big factor for me. And my sister was a part of it in her junior and senior year. So I kind of felt like legacy going into it. <laughs> she loved it, she loved helping, and I got to participate freshman year, carrying all the food from the main office to the auditorium. And just like being able to help a couple, like, a couple weeks out of our year makes such a diff big difference with, for those families. Now, if uh, somebody outside of school wanted to make a donation to the food drive, how could they go about doing that? They can go about doing that by making a check and sending it to Monticello High School, which then goes to our advisor, Karen Gore. Okay, and who should they make the check out to? The Monticello High School Food, food drive. drive. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you, everyone. Um, anything else you want to add about the food drive? I do want to add that it's actually our building administration that cooks the breakfast for the winning classroom. So Mr. Wilder, Mrs. Boardman, and Mrs. Eastep, they cook up a wonderful breakfast with so many things. Oh, it's delicious. So our winners are really in for a treat. Great. Well, thank you so much. And thank you, all of you, for, uh, for running the food drive. And we're looking forward to uh, another successful drive this year. So just a few other quick announcements. Uh, a reminder that uh, this Friday, all schools will be dismissed on a half-day schedule. That's Friday, November 18th for parent-teacher conferences. Parents, caregivers, and families should look for information through either Parent Square or by contacting their child's school directly. The Board of Education will be holding its regular meeting this Thursday night, November 17th at 7.30 p.m. in the Robert J. Kaiser Middle School Library. And lastly, the middle school uh, musical, Annie Jr., will be this weekend. That will be Friday, November 18th at 7 p.m. and Saturday, November 19th at 2 p.m. Uh, in the Hughes Auditorium in Monticello High School. Uh, ticket information on uh, either of those performances can be found on the Robert J. Kaiser Middle School website. We hope everyone breaks a leg in those performances. That's it for this week. Thank you so much for joining us. Stay well. Have a great week with Monty Pride. I'm Matt Evans.